Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I use iMovie to edit my YouTube videos. And at first, honestly, I thought I needed to get Final Cut Pro to make quality YouTube videos, but you definitely don't need to. And I am here to show you how to do some awesome things in iMovie that will definitely help spruce up your videos, whether you're making YouTube videos or presentations, just some things that number one, have made using iMovie easier for me, and number two, just made my video quality better. So I'll leave a link in the description box of the things that I'm going to be going through today along with their timestamps so that you can actually click and go to a certain section of the video if you're looking for something specific. And I'll also be including screen recordings so that you can follow along exactly with what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need to do is just import your media into iMovie. Okay, so here we are in a brand new iMovie and they make it very easy by just clicking this down arrow. You can import any of your media. So videos, photos, or music and audio. And I'll also show you how to do this if you already have media in this section because this little graphic will go away. So I'm gonna pop back into a movie that I've already been editing so I can show you that. So here's what it looks like when you already have media in a new movie and this is from my tie-dye video so I will link that in the description box if you want to watch it it's already up on my channel but to import additional media you just go right up here it's that same down arrow that we just saw you click on it and you'll be able to import anything new and these orange bars that you see down here are letting you know that something from this clip is already in your editing section. So that's how you're able to tell which of your clips are in use and which ones are not. So if I deleted that clip, there's no orange bar on this one anymore. And if I put it back in, all you have to do is click and drag your media into the editing section to get it there. And now we have an orange bar again to show that it is now in use. Now let's talk about some helpful tips for improving your audio within iMovie. So I already have my audio loaded into this video. And it's the same thing as before. You just click, hold it down, and then you can drag the music into your project. And as you can see, there's a line here. And that's because there's two different audio levels that you can have. So if you want your clip to be attached to your audio and have that clip and that audio connected, you can see there's a line here connecting the two, that little tiny green line. However, if you put it down here underneath the line, those two clips will not be connected. This will just stay here, so any clip you put up here will have this audio underneath it. So even if I delete this clip, see how that audio that was here before went away, but this one stayed. So if you have an audio section that you know you want somewhere regardless of what clip it's going under, put it below the line so that it stays there and then on the other side, if you want audio always connected to a clip, then put it above the line and it will stay connected to that clip. Another thing you can do with your sound is actually fade it out at a certain point. So as you can see, if you hover over your sound section, there's that little dot that pops up. And if you hover over it and you click it and drag it, it will fade out your audio starting here and we'll fade it all the way out until the end. You can also lower the volume of your audio by either going to this line right here and hovering over, as you can see, if you hover, it says adjust volume. So you just click, hold it down, and then you can adjust the volume levels. Or you can select it, and anything surrounded in yellow, it means it's selected. You can go up here to this little sound indicator click on it, and then use this to adjust the volume. You can also do that with video clips that have sound in the background. So if I wanted this to just be me showing you materials without any speaking in the background, I could adjust the volume level all the way to zero, and then it will just have a little sound in the background and then me showing you these materials. I can also up the volume all the way to 400% if I wanted to as well. So you can do that with both video clips and audio clips. Another thing that will help your editing by using these sound waves is to actually see where there is no wave 
because that means there's a break in where you're speaking. So for example, this whole thing at the beginning is me not speaking. So if I want to choose to edit that out, I know exactly where I want to cut this clip. And that's going to be right at the beginning of where this sound wave starts because that's where I, as you can see, say, hi, everyone. And before that is just me taking a breath and not saying anything. So you can edit out those breath breaks as well. If you want to shorten your video or honestly just speed up the pace of it, you can take out those breaks and I will show you how to do that by splitting clips. Splitting clips is going to be essential in your editing process. So for example, if I wanted to get rid of this gap right here and just start right on my part where I say, hi guys, I'm going to select the section of the video right before the sound wave starts and click command B to split the clip. You can also go up to modify and you can see that that's where the shortcut is, but it's easier to just use the keyboard shortcut. Now I can delete this section where there's no words and just start right here where it says, Hi everyone. And that's almost half a second long. So if I took out half seconds of me kind of breathing every so often or taking a word break, you can actually save a lot of time in your videos. So now if I delete this clip, remember that this was attached to this clip. If I delete this clip, it's gonna delete that sound as well. So what you wanna do before you delete it is click and drag the sound bar until it's connected with this clip right here. And then you can delete that one. You can also split clips, not just to delete them, but also if you wanna add either sound effects or visual effects in a certain part. Let's go over all the ways you can actually edit clips within your iMovie. So that's maybe slow motion, speeding up your clips, putting filters on them, cropping them, all that kind of stuff. So let's say I wanted to add an audio effect to this part of my video, but not the rest of it. So I can split the clip. And now that this section is highlighted, I can do a couple of things with it. Number one, I can crop it. So either if I choose crop to fill, it's gonna show this box and I can crop it if I wanted to do a zoom in on my face. You just have to click that blue check mark. So let's see what that would look like. Or we can do Ken Burns, which is where you fade into a clip. So we can start with it all the way on the outside edge and end with it going closer to my face. So let's see what that looks like. You get that zoom in slowly effect with Ken Burns. Or we can just go back to selecting fit, click the check mark, and it will go back seamlessly into my video as if we never changed anything. Some other effects you can do with your clips are if you click these three dots right here, uh, as you can see, it says clip filter and audio effects. You can change the filter to a ton of different stuff, or you can do some audio effects. And if you just hover over the audio effect, it will give you a preview of what it's gonna sound like. Fun quarantine. So those are some ways to play with your audio effects and visual effects to make your video more interesting or more fun. Another thing you can do is speed up or slow down clips. So for example, in this clip, all I'm doing is tying rubber bands onto a shirt. So I wanted to speed it up just to save some time because that's obviously not very interesting to watch. So if I selected the clip and I went up here to this little clock, it says speed, you click on it and you can do fast, slow, normal, and then you can select actually how fast you want it to be. And then you'll see this bar up here, this black bar right here with this little dot at the end, actually will do the speed level. So if you adjust that, it'll either make it go faster or slower. Another important thing to know how to do is using color correction. So as you can see, if I hover over this clip and then switch to this one, the colors are different. So maybe it's because the sun went down or a cloud went over it or something like that. So what you can do is actually select a clip 
and click on this little color wheel right here or this color palette. And obviously if you hover over it, it says color correction. And then if you hover over each of these dots, it will tell you what type of color correction it does. So this one does shadows, contrast, brightness. So maybe I wanna make this clip a little bit brighter. I'm just gonna click and hold and then drag that over to increase the brightness. And then it looks like this one's a little bit more cool toned. So maybe I want to adjust the tone on this one a little bit, make it a little bit more cool toned. And then those match pretty well. But what you can also do is if you're happy with how the color correction of one of your clips turned out, you can copy the clip by doing Command C or obviously edit copy and then select another clip and go to edit paste adjustments and you can paste the color correction adjustments and it will match your clips that way. And you can do that obviously with any kind of adjustment. You can do it with cropping, filters, audio effects, speed. So if you were really happy with how one of your videos was cropped or how you did a Kent Burns effect, you can copy that clip and then paste that adjustment. So as you can see in some sections of my video, I have these little overlays so that I can insert additional images and photos. iMovie only lets you do one overlay. So I'm gonna click on this and this box right here is video overlay settings. So if you click on it, there are different options. So in this one, I chose picture in picture because I wanted the color wheel to pop up to show you guys while I was talking about the effects of a color wheel. You can also do cutaway, which just instead of showing me, just shows the graphic itself. Or you can do split screen, which puts you on one side, the graphic on the other, and then you can position it in different ways. And for picture in picture, you can also do, well, you can obviously change the size of it. Maybe you want a border and a shadow, or you can swap so that the color wheel is big in my case. And then I could put myself talking over here if I wanted to feature the color wheel and myself smaller, or I could just have the overlay how I had it before. I wanna show you one way that I actually add some personal and creative touches to my videos, and that's by using Canva. Canva is a free design website and they do have a pro version which offers more features and more graphics, but you can use the free one and it really just elevates your videos a little bit more. Here are some of the examples of the graphics that I made in Canva. So instead of just posting a picture of my t-shirts hanging up, I actually created these little Polaroids with words in Canva and then just downloaded the graphics and then put them in to my media section as you can see here. And as you can see in these backgrounds that are already pre-loaded into iMovie, they're not very interesting. They're all kind of plain. So you can use Canva to make your transitions a little bit more interesting because they have some cooler and more artistic backgrounds. The backgrounds in Canva can give a little bit more personality to your video. And as you can see in this one, I tried to do something of a tie-dye background so that it fit in with the theme of my video. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right below this video. And if you have any suggestions for future videos that you wanna see from me, please leave them in the comments section as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.